Since the lockdown was lifted, banks in Shanghai have faced a peak demand for cash business. It is reported that many banks have suspended their ATM service because they fear that money can become infected with viruses. As a result, customers queue in long lines in front of banks to withdraw their money. Some banks have as many as two or three hundred customers per day. Consequently, banks have to mobilize more staff to support customer needs. A video circulated on the internet shows a man outside the Citic Bank saying that people can't use ATMs to deposit money since money is poisonous. He doesn't think money has a virus, but people's hearts do. Some Shanghai netizens complain that it takes an hour to wait in a queue at the gate. A bank allows only six people to enter at a time. Other banks are facing the same situation, such as China Postal Savings Bank, Shanghai Branch, or Shanghai Bank Jiading Branch. The vast majority of queuing customers are elderly. The insider says that many older people do not have hard cards, but only pass books. Although bank tools can read soft cards to process deposits and withdrawal, there is a quota limit, and the withdrawal can only be less than twenty thousand yuan or three thousand dollars. Therefore, senior citizens must adopt window service to fulfill their needs. Regarding the reason for a long queue, a banking staff member says it is essentially the customer's living habits. Just like youngsters are fond of coffee and milk tea, after a prolonged lockdown, many young people will likely rush to stores, waiting in line for their favorite drink. Similarly, the elderly choose to queue simply because they need to meet their necessities of life. Almost all of their banking practice is related to sending regular deposits and withdrawing pensions.